Choosing where to study your game design degree can be a headache. However, after going through the whole experience myself, I have some tips that could make the whole process a lot easier. Today, I want to give you some tips on how to choose your school for game design degrees and tell you everything I wish I knew when I was in your shoes. When I started college back in 2006, there weren't a lot of schools that offered game design degrees. However, things have changed, and nowadays it is almost as popular as marketing or business. Almost every university has some sort of game design program. Yet, are they all created equal? I believe there are different things to look at in order to know which university to consider and determine which is the best fit for you. The main thing I want you to keep in mind is that none of the strategies I am going to talk about is the gold standard. I think that a combination of several of these could prove helpful for you when looking for a program. The first and obvious thing to look at is the university's reputation. I'm not talking about overall reputation, I mean look at their game design reputation. There is a site that you can visit called Princeton Review, where they list rankings for the best universities around the world to study game design. I'm going to put the link down below in the description. The cool thing is that they include rankings for both undergrad and grad degrees. This is a good resource to know if the university that you're interested in is good. However, this site isn't the end-all be-all. A program that is perfect for me might not work for you, so make sure to research other sites and compare experiences from students. See how graduates express themselves about their experiences, look up reviews for the specific program you're interested in, and make sure to look for various points of view so you can get a fuller picture of what it could be like for you. One thing I found super helpful was to look up their alumni or students and evaluate their projects and portfolios. A lot of students in game design programs have their portfolios posted somewhere online, so it is a great opportunity for you to look them up and see the quality of their work. If their portfolios are weak, chances are that the university isn't as good or might be lacking in some areas. As with everything, this is just one metric of success. A portfolio isn't always necessarily a reflection solely of the university, program, or teachers. Even in the very best universities, you can still find portfolios that aren't strong and vice versa, so don't chase the shiny objects you might find. One very important thing to look for in a game design degree is whether they have partnerships with game studios. As you probably know, getting a game design job is very difficult, and it can take a lot of time. If you can get an internship, it's a great first step just to get your feet wet. Sometimes, universities have certain partnerships with studios that allow them to recruit people from that university and they help mentor and develop students. Other times, their alumni network is so strong, it makes the high tuition cost worth it, just to be part of it. In my case, unfortunately, there weren't any partnerships that could help me, and I didn't research it at all, so I had a very, very hard time finding a job. Industry exposure is another very important factor. Sometimes the university organizes events in which they invite people from the industry to look at projects. They might also invite some speakers to give talks about a specific topic regarding game design. This is a great opportunity to connect with people in the industry and learn more about what a game designer life is like. Program length is very important, specifically for grad degrees. When I got into USC, I was surprised that it was a three-year program. In most other places, it was always two years so it felt like a very long time commitment. However, I noticed that the third year, it was to focus on creating your thesis project. This is a very personal decision, because in my case, I thought it would be good for me to have a chance to really hone in on my skills. However, depending on the person, it can be a downside. You are paying your school to basically keep you accountable for working on your own. It makes it more expensive, and depending on your experience, expertise, or goals, it might not be worth your time when you could get hands-on experience elsewhere. One very interesting thing that might be something you want to look into is evaluating the specialties or focus the university has for their game design degrees. For example, one degree might be more focused on production, while another might be more focused on computer science. It is very important for you to decide what you want to pursue, because it will allow you to get the knowledge that you need to succeed. Sometimes people think that they don't need programming and want to focus on the creative side. However, I have found that knowing programming is really helpful in case you want to create your own game in the future, and it also makes your job search a lot easier depending on your goals. I made a video about this which I will link here in case you want to know more. Cost is another variable that goes into the decision. A lot of game design programs out there are very expensive, and if you don't have the resources required, then it is going to put an extra layer of pressure that you don't need in your life right now. 
These programs are very demanding. You need to focus on your studies completely, so make sure to research every university available to you and even look for scholarships that can help you ease the burden. I was able to get a scholarship during my last year at USC and it helped out a lot. Another great way to know if the university is worth it or not is their participation in festivals such as GDC or Indicate. In these festivals, there are student game competitions for which anyone can submit a game. It is a very good sign when a university is nominated because it means that they care about their students, their professional development and their projects. Now this is not so much about studying, but I also think it is very important that you like the city that you're going to be living in. When you're not studying, you're going to be living somewhere, going out, walking, etc. So it is very important that you enjoy your surroundings and are okay living there. Some places have friendlier populations than others, and the social component is very important because it ultimately affects your well-being. Hating where you live on top of the stress of school, finances, and finding a job can be a lot and lead to sadness, depression, or even compromising your schoolwork due to lack of motivation. That will help you narrow down your search. I also highly recommend going to these universities, scheduling meetings with professors to learn more about the school values, their way of teaching, and how everything works. This will allow you to know if the school is a good fit for you and your skills and will allow for a better experience once you go to study there. So what do you do with all of this? Well, I will make a list of all these factors and prioritize them according to your own situation. Choosing a school is difficult because it will play a big role on what your future might be like. At the same time, I'm kind of contradicting myself, try not to stress about it. Yes, it is 100% an important decision, but success is up to you, not the school. In the end, it is your effort, skill and talent that coupled with diligence will determine how successful you will become. No matter the school you go to, if you put in the work, you're going to achieve your goals no matter where you come from. And that's it you guys, thank you so much for watching. Do you have any questions around how to narrow down your options for a game design degree? Please let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you like this video, please consider subscribing and sharing it with your friends. See you next time!